Joseph Smith not only supported alcohol production and sales in novel, but also smoked and drank alcohol in public years after the revelation of the word of wisdom, including drinking wine the night before he was killed. From Joseph's Journals. May 3, 1843. Drank a glass of wine with Sister Janetta Richards, made by her mother in England. June 1, 1844. Drank a glass of beer at Mooser's. January 29, 1844. Captain White of Quincy was at the mansion last night and this morning drank a toast. As mayor of Novel, Joseph Smith even obtained a liquor license to distribute alcohol from his own mansion home, like a baller. My favorite part, though, comes from the Masalimen of the First Presidency, speaking on Joseph. One time, he had preached a powerful sermon on the word of wisdom, and immediately thereafter, he rode through the streets of Nauvoo smoking a cigar. Early Mormon settlers built breweries in the Salt Lake Valley almost as soon as the wagons were unpacked, and wine was used for the sacrament until 1906. Moderation, not abstinence, was always the rule until 1921 when Heber J. Grant had to ruin the fund by aligning church policy with the National Temperance Movement, making absolute abstinence church law. Damn, I'd rather be a fundamentalist.